Hello everybody, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently five past seven on Sunday the 2nd of January 2022. I'm currently reading Billy Summers by Stephen King. It's very good, 100 odd pages or so to go. And next up I'm probably going to read Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. I'm also in the process of recording a new song so I'm going to go and do some more of that now. Dane reads... Hello, just a quick update to let you know that I finished recording the new tune that I sat down to do So it's ended up being called Rabbit in Tamworth. I will link to that below. I've got a bit of pizza on my lip um, So that went well. I've pretty much tidied up after that got a few other bits of housework doing I'm quite tired So I might have an early night. We'll see like I don't know because I had an early night last night I went to bed at like midnight and then didn't get up to like 4 p.m. And again, I'm just super tired I don't know what's wrong with me. So we will see but yeah, happy I've finished recording that, at least that's one thing ticked off. Hello, it is me. It is currently five to nine on, what day are we on? Monday, the 3rd of January. Um, I need to try and get a radio show edited and ready for tomorrow. I don't know whether that's going to happen. I mean, I guess I'll give it a go. Um, other news, I've, I've slept okay. Got up fairly early. I did have a nap this evening, actually, because I was tired. Um, I've been cracking on with all my housework and stuff, and we're at a very good point now. I basically just have, I have one cupboard left to sort through, and then after that, it's all the redecorating and painting again in the final two rooms. Um, but even when I did this room up here, I still had some stuff in here that was left on my list that I needed to sort through, and all of that is now done. So that is very exciting. Um, been catching up with my eBay stuff as well. I finished reading Billy Summers by Stephen King. It was a solid four out of five, did enjoy. And I've now just started reading The Card Turner by Louis Sackar. So he's the guy who wrote Holes, which I really enjoyed. He also wrote one called Small Steps, which again, I really enjoyed. So we're onto The Card Turner. This is um, basically this young, young lad. Um, his parents insist that he drives his uncle to his bridge tournaments. Uh, Uncle Lester is old, blind, very sick, and very rich, which is why his parents are desperate for Alton to warm, worm his way into his good books. So we'll see, a bit of a human interest story and that whole, you know, trying to, trying to snag someone's inheritance. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out. Um, I've filmed my review. So basically all of my filming is, is up to date, and um, I did that song yesterday, I think I updated you on that. And finally managed to get Dropbox fixed, so stuff is now officially copying over as well, so that is good. So, um, yeah, just just cracking on, really. And uh, being productive, being as productive as I can. Hello, everybody. Um, it is currently 10 past 11 on Sunday the 9th of January. Um, I've still just been keeping on, keeping on, working on the housework and stuff. I didn't go to the gig at the art centre in the end. I fell asleep and had a nap instead. My sleep's kind of a bit weird at the moment, to be honest. Um, tattoo's healing up okay. It's gone to the little, like, crusty stage, so I won't show you, because that'd be grim. And I'm still reading Alias Grace, although I'm less than 100 pages away from the end now. I started reading um, Asterix or Jeux Olympique as well, which is the next Asterix book. Uh, uh, Bon dessinée, um, so it's like a French graphic novel basically, um, and the title means Asterix in the Olympic Games, so that's quite exciting. Um, Sabrina came over today, so we made uh, bangers and mash, uh, with so vegan sausages, vegan mash, we had some um, fried asparagus with it, and then some onion gravy as well, oh it was good, that was good, and then we had our vegan ice cream as well. We also played a bunch of board games, which was fun, including the board game of the Golden Compass, which is obviously the movie of Northern Lights by Philip Pullman, which is my favourite book. And it was not very good. So that is unfortunately not a keeper. But at least we played it. So um, yeah, that'll be going on my eBay soon. Uh, we also played QI. That was good. We played one called uh, Herbaceous. Where the goal is to grow a herb garden. And we played, I think it was called... What was it called? Odin's Crows or something like that. Um, which was... It was alright. I lost at it. So I'm grumpy. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to finish reading Alias Grace. I've got my um, Mr. Bump books to read, and then I'm going to read Emma's new book about self-publishing, Emma Rosen books. Um, the housework is mostly all done now. I do have some more coats on the painting that I need to do, and then the next step is to start on the living room. But I had to order some more paint because I ran out of one of them as well, and paintbrushes too. So I imagine that will arrive early next week, so I can make a start on that then. 
and that's going to be a pain because I have to move all of the books out and paint behind the bookcases. There's also a few bits and bobs here and there that I've discovered that need repainting already. So that's annoying. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's nice to keep the house nice, you know. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do that. And then what I might then do is sort of once a year I'll redecorate the house or whatever. Um, we'll see. We'll see when it needs it, I guess. Um, oh, I opened my next Hunter Killer box, so I have episode two, um, so that's exciting. I'm going to crack on with that soon. I'm just copying some stuff over to my Mac for editing. It doesn't quite have enough space for it all, unfortunately, um, but it is still copying stuff. So it's like telling me, like, oh, you don't have space, you don't have any space, mate, but then it is still copying stuff over. Oh, and good, and Dante's Peak has copied over. Uh, which I want to re-watch, because I watched Volcano recently, right? And it turns out that my memory of Volcano from when I was a kid, I was actually remember remembering Dante's Peak. Um, they are both very similar movies that came out in the same year, so it is kind of forgivable. But yeah, it's good that that's copied over, because that's like two and a half gigabytes, so I can watch that and then delete that and make some more space. Um, that's about it, really. I've got some filming to do. I haven't done next week's radio show yet, so I need to do that soon. Um, in terms of next week, I've got a couple of client calls scheduled in. I've got quite a lot of work on at the moment, actually, so I do need to crack on with doing that. Um, and I'm supposed to have a, a call at 4pm with my counsellor. My counselling is now over, but we're supposed to be having a catch-up call. But I don't think I've heard from her with details for that, so we'll see if that happens. Um, and that is where I'm at. And because it's a Sunday, this seems like a good place to love you and leave you. So thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.